Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Rohit Tech. Today in this video I am going to show how to installing and enabling the web console in Red Hat Linux 8.3. First of all we will know, what is Red Hat Linux web console is. The RHEL web console is a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 web based interface designed for managing and monitoring your local system, as well as Linux servers located in your network environment. The RHEL web console uses the same system APIs as you would in a terminal, and actions performed in a terminal are immediately reflected in the RHEL web console. You can monitor the logs of systems in the network environment, as well as their performance, displayed as graphs. In addition, you can change the settings directly in the web console or through the terminal. How to installing and enabling the web console Click on Activities. Click on Terminal. Now the terminal is open. Type sudo yum install cockpit. Press Enter. As you can see it will showing error, there are not enable repositories in etc yum.repos.d. So enable and start the cockpit.socket service, which runs a web server. Type system ctl enable, dash dash now cockpit dot socket. Press enter. If the web console was not installed by default on your installation variant and you are using a custom firewall profile, add the cockpit service to firewall to open port 9090 in the firewall. Type firewall dash cmd. Space. Dash dash add dash service equals cockpit space dash dash permanent press enter as you can see warning already enabled cockpit type firewall dash cmd dash dash reload press enter see on terminal console it will show successfully reloaded to verify the previous installation and configuration open the web console Click on Activities, click Firefox. Type address, https double colon slash slash localhost double colon 9090. Press Enter. Click on Advanced. Click on Accept the Risk and Continue. As you can see, this is our web console. Now I am logging on root user. Click Login. This is usage of CPU and RAM. That is system information. That is configuration part. You can change host name, system time, domain joining. Configuring the host name in the web console. What is host name? The host name identifies the system. By default, the host name is set to localhost, but you can change it. A host name consists of two parts, host name it is a unique name which identifies a system. Domain add the domain as a suffix behind the host name when using a system in a network and when using names instead of just IP addresses. A host name with an attached domain name is called a fully qualified domain name, FQDN. For example, MyMachine.Example.com Host names are stored in the slash etc. slash host name file. Click on Activities. Click Firefox. Type address, HTTPS double colon slash slash localhost double colon 9090. Press Enter. Now I am log in as root user.
After web console is logged in as root. Go to configuration part. Click edit on host name. Type the host name name. My host name name is Linux SVR. Click on change. As you can see our host name is change. Configuring time settings using the web console. Click on system time. Select time zone. My country time zone already selected. Click on set time. If you select manually, use this option if you need to set the time manually, without an NTP server. If you select automatically using NTP server, this is a default option, which synchronizes time automatically with the preset NTP servers. Click on change. As you can see, showing red color symbol it means time cannot synchronize on NTP server. So I will set the manually time. Set date and time. Click on change. So as you can see how to change date and time through web console. So I will change host name, date and time, so I want to reboot Linux server through web console. Click the restart button. If any users are logged into the system, write a reason for the restart in the restart dialog box. Delay drop down list, select a time interval. I will choose one minute. Click the restart. System will restart after one minute. System is restarted. Log on as root user. Now the system is started completely. Thanks for watching this video. Please like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.